Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon White 2. I'm your host, the Pokegamer. In the last episode, we took on the Castelia City Gym and its leader, Berg. Um, got our third gym badge, and what we're going to be doing today is finishing off the rest of Castelia, because there's that far northern area that we need to do yet. Um, and then, at least I think we need to do it, because we I don't think we got anything that was there. Um, so, I mean, that's something that we're going to do today. Um, then we're going to make our way to Route 4, and hopefully make our way to the next city. But, there's always that chance that, you know... We won't exactly make it there. <clears throat> so I forgot to do something. Um, I mean, we did just battle the gym leader, so I kind of need to heal. Um, fair bit of um, spoilers. I, I get completely destroyed later in the episode. You'll understand whenever we get to it. Um, but we have stuff to talk about that is non-Black and White 2 related. Um, and I suppose we should just start with the Pokemon stuff, because Pokemon... So, like normal, I'm just going to read this off of Cerebi. If you guys want to go and check it out yourself, you're more than welcome to, but of course, I'm going to cover it right here and now. Um, so, of course, this has to do with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Um, the Pokemon Company International has sent out a release detailing more about the news that has come this past week. Um, in this release, it shows footage of Mega Metagross confirmed to now have Tough Claws, as well as the reveal, or the reveal of Pikachu appearances. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Pikachu appearances Pikachu Bell, Pikachu Rockstar, Pikachu Popstar, Pikachu PhD, Pikachu, and Pikachu Libre. Um, then they did a further edit saying pictures are gradually being added to their database, so go check those out. Um, another thing has another update that had happened like literally seven minutes later. Um, more details on Mega Evolutions. Mega Diancie receives a big boost to its speed stat as well as a or boost to its attack and special attack while experiencing a reduction in its defense and special defense. Mega Metagross also has a greatly increased speed stat with additional increases in its attack, defense, special attack, and special defense, making Metagross prime for both offense and defense. The next edit is following M or M or M <clears throat> I hate whenever my throat does this shit. It's partly because it's raining right now, so please bear with it. Um, but following M or M Giddy, I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced, um, with the Canadian release date last month, um, where it was listed solely as November, we now have confirmation that the games will arrive in Canada on November 21st. So I think that's like a universal date for pretty much everyone except for Europe. I think Europe's kind of getting screwed out of that but um you know um so in the trailer because they kind of just updated a few of their pages here uh in the trailer they had revealed some of the gym leaders as well as their gyms um like some of the gimmicks and whatnot to them there's that's kind of a thing um they have uh i think images on the screenshots page for that as well as the actual gym leaders and elite four members as well um they only revealed for the elite four members i think sydney Excuse me, um, Steven and uh, Phoebe, which we already knew, of course. But um, they had showed like some of the Pokemon, in, like battling or whatever, all that other crap. So something to kind of go check out. Um, they also apparently added a uh, or they updated the characters page. I don't know what they updated. On. I saw that they didn't add any new characters to it. Um, so I, I don't know what they exactly updated on there. Maybe something to do with the guy from the secret bases. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and they also created a page um, about Pokemon contests and the cosplay Pikachu thing. Um, hard to tell whether or not this is just for Pikachu or if this is for like different Pokemon. It'd be kind of weird to see what you could do with a lot of the different Pokemon in the game. Pikachu is understandable because it's basically the mascot of Pokemon, but you know, there's that. They also did an update with version exclusives for um, you know Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. Um, Big surprise, obviously Groudon is exclusive to Ruby, whereas Kyogre is exclusive to Sapphire. And much like in Ruby Sapphire, um, Zangoose and Viper are exclusive to selective games. Zangoose apparently being Omega Ruby, while Viper being exclusive to Alpha Sapphire. Um, that's part of the reason why I didn't include Emerald in that little list whenever I had said Ruby and Sapphire. Because, you know, that's there's you can't really do exclusives in that that are like, oh hey, well one can go in one game, one can go in the other, there's only one game, you can't do exclusives like that. But, um, yeah, so, that's basically all of the Pokemon news. I, 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 I'm on a roll as of late, uh, I don't remember if I mentioned this actual on, um, on screen about this, um, 
but a while back I had said that there were a couple of abilities that I feel Metagross was going to get. Um, the fact that it's no longer, like, it's not footed, it's not on the ground anymore, it could give the impression that it had the, uh, the, the chance of having the ability to levitate, which would have been good. Um, but the fact that it also had ginormous claws, giving it tough claws also made sense, and that was something I mentioned a very long time ago. Um, I'm assuming on here, I'm not entirely sure if I did or not. If I didn't, I know I said it to my friends on Skype. Uh, they, After it was revealed, I was like, this thing has to have Levitate or Tough Claws. There's nothing else that this thing can really get that would at least boost it in any way. Um, so, calling Tough Claws is kind of cool. Um, the thing that I... there's. I really don't know how I feel about this. Mega Diancie is receiving a decrease in its defensive stats while getting a massive boost in speed and a slight increase in its attack and special attack. Uh, its base attack and special attack are both um, 100 and its current base speed is 50. Um, I don't think I've seen a bigger increase to any Mega Evolution higher than 50 in any stat. Uh, this means that Mega Diancie's base speed at the very least is going to probably be 100. It needs basically a 60 point increase in its speed in order to be able to keep up with anything in the meta. It has no way of having a choice scarf on it. Um, it can't have any other item for that matter if you're going Mega Diancie in the first place. Um, so I mean, it's kind of a very tricky thing. I mean, if it does not get that 60 point increase, it's going to be an average speed Pokemon, um, and it's going to require a lot more skill, and it's going to require you to be able to make very, very accurate predictions, or you might get screwed. Um, the fact of the matter is, Tough Claw's Metagross is now a thing, not to mention it's getting an increase in both of its attack stats as well as its defensive stats and speed. So, Metagross is now becoming infinitely more powerful, while at the same time it gets the ability Tough Claws, and it has access to Bullet Punch. So, Metagross is literally kind of a Pokemon that was basically... It basically received its Mega purely for the reason to destroy Diancie. Like, it, that's what it's there for. It's literally going to be there just to be like, hey, I'm kind of like Scizor with Tough Claws, and like stab bullet punch to your face, not to mention the stat increases. Um, it says that it gets its bigger boost in its speed, so it may not have as much attack as Scizor. But the fact of the matter is, is it also gets an increase in special attack, so maybe we can see some kind of weird special attacking Metagross now as well. Of course, that wouldn't really work all that well with Tough Claws, but I mean, you could also potentially run it as a mix set as well. Um, it'd be kind of difficult to do that, of course. You'd probably have to do Naive or um, something like that to kind of increase its speed or whatever, but um, yeah. It already kind of loses to a lot of things like um, Dark Pulse, Shadow Ball, stuff like that. So, I mean, there's that, I mean, whatever. Uh, just kind of an option, but the fact of the matter is Metagross just seems like a Pokemon that's there to completely put down by Ancy, as well as, of course, Scizor, but we already have Scizor, it's nothing new, but I mean, I don't know. A full times weakness to steel is just not fair, or well, not it's not exactly unfair, but it's kind of um, a major kick to the teeth. I mean, she gets a mega to make her more viable and everything, and she's getting a speed increase, which is fine. But at the same time, um, like she needs enough speed to be able to outspeed something, and. I, I don't know. I, I just feel like yeah, Diane's is just gonna be one of those Pokemon that really needs to be. A, it needs to be played by someone very skillful or very good at making predictions. Because otherwise, if you get out predicted or if you make one slight misplay, you might lose it in a single shot. So, I mean, a lot of the decreases that I've seen on all of the Megas that we have already, um, I've only been seeing ten like 10 point decreases so I mean having a 140 base defense and 140 base special defense well having a potential 120 attack 120 special attack and 100 speed that's pretty good despite the fact that it may not be able to outspeed a lot of major threats so it's still a good Pokemon it's just Metagross is going to be obviously popular and Scizor is still a thing so it's hard to say how it's actually going to do but uh, apparently Diancie's currently sitting in the OU tier because apparently um, 
Japan has some sort of access to Diancy right now, even though the event's not supposed to go live until literally this Saturday. So, I mean, I, I really don't know. I, 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 whatever. I mean, we'll have to see what this um, mega scoop or whatever is supposed to be in like next month or whatever. I think it was for Koro or whatever. I don't really know. But um, we'll have to wait and see what that's all about. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Um, so that covers basically everything with Pokemon. We have about five minutes left to cover some very, very fun news. Um, a while back, I'm going to be covering this on my blog too, so if you guys want to read that, um, be sure to check it out. I'll leave the link in the description again if you guys want it. Um, a while back, um, when E3 had happened, they announced the Amiibo. Um, Amiibo are those things that you use for your Wii U, and they're apparently supposed to have some kind of um, interaction with the 3DS at some point as well. Um, but they had a list of characters that you could, um, well, that, that, that were going to be released as Amiibo. So hopefully without lagging or anything else, I, I can get to this picture really quick. Because um, I want to kind of cover this because this is a thing. I actually did do this a while ago. Um, I talked to a friend of mine about this, and because she's a major fan of Fire Emblem. Um, I wanted to kind of be like, yeah, we might actually be doing this. Um, on, this on the little, there was an instance at E3 where the Amiibo were all like, shown and then they were showing like characters going into the television or coming out of the television or whatever the hell it was. Um, and I believe I mentioned this in one of, and I think with my last Let's Play, I'm not sure, because this was a, you know E3 time. It wasn't like a couple weeks ago. Um, I had mentioned that there were a few characters that we didn't already have that we might actually see later down the line. There being the Super Mario from, um, you know, like the Super Mario shit. There was a couple other, um, what's it called? Animal Crossing characters. There was Mr. Game & Watch who got revealed in a way with um, Pac-Man that was in his trailer. Um, and there was also Lucina. Now, Lucina is shown with Marth's mask from Fire Emblem Awakening. So, everyone was just like, well, Marth, whatever. Um, I had said that she was a potential character to be released because of this. I mean, they wanted to make Amiibo something that could be incorporated with Smash Brothers. Why is Lucina sitting there if it's not currently available for the, like, if it doesn't currently work for the 3DS, and it's so far only intended for Smash Brothers? That makes no sense. So. I had instantly just assumed that we were going to get Lucina either in the form of having her with her mask on and like having that or like basically um, having kind of like a Marth reskin or whatever, something like that. I didn't know exactly, but I had high hopes that Lucina was going to be a part of the game and she in fact is. Um, as of today, for anyone who hadn't watched the E3 Nintendo, or not the E3, the Nintendo Direct or whatever that they did today. Um, she was revealed alongside Captain Falcon, which we all kind of expected to return to this anyways. He's one of the originals. He kind of has to be a part of the game. And then the other reveal that we had gotten was very surprising. The rumors that were going around that I had read about, um, I think I have a link to them somewhere. I'll leave them in the description if you guys wanted as well. I'll probably leave it there anyways. Um, but one of the like leaks that had been going around had mentioned Chrome being re released in Smash Brothers as well. Instead of getting Chrome, at least as of this moment, we get Robin. Now anyone who doesn't know who Robin actually is, Robin is the my unit or avatar in Fire Emblem Awakening, your character. So technically we now have the main character from Fire Emblem Awakening and Lucina. We also have Ike and we have um, Marth. So I mean those are all things. Um, at the end of the trailer, they also showed Chrome starting to fight, so it's kind of revealed that Chrome is also going to be a part of this game. There is so much that I really want to talk about in regards to these things. I'm going to have to save it for my blog, of course, because we're almost out of time. I'll probably do the post up either later tonight or sometime later this week, so be sure to check it out. It'll probably be today or tomorrow. I'll have to get, I'll start working on it ASAP, of course. Um, we also have to talk about Mega Evolutions again, because I did do that TLDR Part 1. I want to kind of get on to Part 2 at some point. Um, so those are things that you get to look forward to. In the next episode, we're going to go through Route 4 and hopefully make our way to the next city and start looking around there and seeing what all we can do. So, um, yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And until next time, this is the Poke Gamer signing out.